Cause it's yo ho, but we don't say ho. But ho is disrespectful, yo. Salutation, sword swallowers, automatic here for automatic games. Thanks for joining me for this episode three of a series that I've decided to, to title Decisive Blunders. In the first two installments, uh, we were desperately trying to hold on to a Marauder's Chest. Yes, a measly Marauder's Chest. Um, went so far as to stash it on Smuggler's Bay, uh, respawn and return to it. Uh, we got the chest and sailed away. Um, now, now, how we initially came upon the chest was through some, you know, innocent briefing against a, uh, a galleon with white sails, you know, just the vanilla uh, texture. Uh, in the second episode, we tangled with a black sail galleon, which we sunk, but they too uh, got the kill shot in us and we ran aground. Um, stashed the chest on a different island. This time it was the, the Crescent Isle. So we returned there after respawn, and wouldn't you know it, there was a galleon there. Not the black sailed one, but probably the same white sailed one that we encountered in episode one. Shit. It was either one of them in the water, or, or a mermaid. I don't see it now, but I sure shit did. Is this Crescent Isle? This is it. I just want to make sure I know that these people... Yeah, yeah, this is it, alright. Okay, they're going to make it difficult for me. Now we stashed the uh, chest in that cave there, and they've positioned their ship. I want them to hear this. And they've positioned their ship, like, right by where I left the chest. You know, just to get them, perhaps, out of the cave, or, or get them closer to their ship, which is not necessarily near where I stashed the Marauder's chest. And one interesting aspect about this, to me, is it kind of mirrors our movements, especially if this is the same ship. Uh, it mirrors our movements back at Smuggler's Bay. They're sitting out front or south of it. I'm, I'm kind of coasting up to the, uh, the northern side of it. Somewhat obscured by cliffs, or I will be. It's not that they wouldn't be able to see me, though. They obviously do. And the plan here is uh, we just get in and get out. We let the ship coast. Um, kind of a drive-by, right? A, a 17, 15 kind of drive-by. Did they, they did have those, right? All right, so it's into the drink. And here, of course, is the aforementioned cave. Uh, we stashed the chest in a very shadowy area. That way, you know... Uh, the naked eye can't see it. Of course, if you walked over it, you would get button prompts, but why somebody would be walking back there, I don't know. Got the chest, now it's back aboard the dainty taint, and we sail to the nearest outpost. Wow, that's, that's actually a lot shallower. Uh, than it than it seemed. Damn near close enough to scrape bottom. And look for the mermaid. There it was. There it was. You could see it and hear it, but I didn't. I missed that tell. There we go. We caught the wind. Good to go. Good to go. Fancy lad says. And so it's underwater, uh, I drown and respawn aboard my ship, which of course has moved. 
Now it's at an outpost island. You see, the man that killed me with the, uh, he was wearing the same fancy pants I wear, uh, but he was shirtless, which is an indicator that he's not a fancy lad. So, no alliance there. I think about going to the galleon, but then I think better of it. I want to find that chest. He beached himself here, and he's probably taking that chest to get it sold, and sure enough, there he is with my Smuggler's Bay Marauder chest. So the fight for this thing will intensify. I'm gonna attempt every play in the book. Why, why did you attack my ship? <laughs> Including sounding like a, um, I don't know, like a feeble pansy. You know, maybe it'll disarm them, and then I can take advantage of that situation. No, I don't know. There's, no, <laughs> there's really no explaining my instincts. This I dubbed the Battle of the Bridge. Now I'm hurt, it's bananas and withdrawal. We we retrograde back to the uh, the last stand, which in this case is gonna be a tavern. Um, reminds me of the end of uh, Young Guns. Sorry, dated reference. And that wasn't a tavern. Well, I'm afraid they got my treasure. But I still have this play. Pretend you're Chris Hansen. Hey, fellas, this is Chris Hansen. Can I ask you to take a seat, please? I want to talk to you about some things. I mean, they are predators, right? Or maybe that was me. Yeah, that's projection, I guess. Hell, I'd call this karma. Hey, fellas, Chris Hansen here. Uh... I mean you no harm. You can come in and we can talk. I've got... I've got nothing. We can drink. And he, he produces a beer, so he can hear me. Let me find my drink. So we'll shoot this shit, except he don't talk. <laughs> I like your pants. I mean, that's not gay. I've got the same pants. Well, you can only talk to somebody that won't talk back for so long, so eventually I want to meet the rest of his crew. So let's meet the gang. I saw he had a... I mean, as you can see, I'm dressed like a fancy lad. I'm an excellent cabin boy. I don't know. I, I don't want to make them think that you vouched for me or something, because I know that's not the case. I don't presume to ride with you. I just... Just a guy. Doing the scene. Yes, I fired at you, just because I wanted that chest. I'm poor. Low level. Figured I'd go for the chest. But it really wasn't worth fighting for. I, I didn't see you were wearing those trousers. I don't know if you noticed, but I wear similar trousers. <sighs> we just got so much in common. I... They call me Roger the Cabin Boy. I know it says Otto, but... Oh. Oh! Jealous lover, maybe? And look how Fancy Pants gets God in his face. God damn it, I thought you were about to execute my sorry ass. I mean... Th so there's more of you. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. Listen, I don't have any, uh... I don't have any booty. I may, be, I may dress like a fancy lad, but it doesn't mean that I, I want to be your property. You feel me? I mean... Bad choice of words. But, but I'm just saying, should you need a cabin boy, swab the decks, um, you know, uh, get the lint off the captain's coat, things like that, I'm down. I'm your man for it. Boy for it. Should I follow? Is that... As, as long as I'm not coming aboard your ship to be taken advantage of. 
Whoa. Hi, Daddy has some serious moves with the blade. Look at that. Cutting through it like it's water. Well, in this in this case it is water. But good times. Holy shit, you guys have seen some action. So yeah, whatever needs cleaned, I mean, if you want me to pick the sardines out for cheese, I'm cool. The bod hype. Dad bod hype. Dad bod. Oh my god, dude. Is your gamer tag really dead? <laughs> Seen since last Thursday. Sorry about that, folks. A little glitchy. Okay, so, so this is cool. We'll just sit. Yes, it's a wig. In case you were wondering, are you shooting the village? Wow, that is very piratey, which is cool. That's what this is all about. Let me guess, it's time for me to be executed? Because I, I mean, no shit, this whole time I'm thinking like, okay, when comes the part where they kill me? Or take me in a dark corner and have their way with me. Which, under normal circumstances, I would charge 10 gold for going below deck, okay. Just all the way down here is this. This is nice. I'm glad you brought me down here to show me this. I I know if I if I could. I can't. Uh oh. Looking for the right emoji or emote or whatever, the right response point. I'm, I wish it was a cry emoji. Because I'm crying. Because I'm freaking terrified. Dad body. Listen. I don't know if we're... We haven't set sail yet. Oh, no, 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 McKinley. I'm not a, not a scurvy dog. I'm, I'm just a, a, a dirty... Dirty dog. Um, dad bod, dad bod, dad bod, dad bod. Look, I think you're the most reasonable of this crew. I mean, hype sauce is cool. Don't get me wrong. But I... Listen, if you're going to kill me, I just want to tell you this. You know, I may move on, you know, but you are going to be... You are the lifeblood of this crew. And I don't want anybody to tell you any different. You know, long after I'm gone and... <sighs> that scared the shit out of me, man. Well, now you're just... Now they're just fucking with me. I thought I was dead. Yeah, dude. Whoa. Okay, I see... I see where we stand. That was sad. That was a sad, sad end to that story. McKinney, what are you doing here? Who killed you? But I need answers. I don't think they'll give them to me, because none of them talked. But... Of course I'm sailing back there. One of them was named Dad Bot, as if to say he, he's got a dad body. I feel like he and I were close. I feel like he owes me some kind of explanation. It's the least he can do. <laughs> it was rough. So rough. You'll note that I'm not firing at them, should I? <laughs> should I?
Are they sinking? No, don't sink. Folks, don't sink. No, no. Oh, they had the gay pride flag. That's funny. Um, no, don't sink. Are there any survivors? I'm here for you. It's me. It's me, your potential cabin boy. I'm, I'm here for you. Are there any survivors? Is anybody alive? Too little, too late. I'm here to rescue you. Well. Well. Well, we did it, boys. We sunk them again. Let's go tell people what we did. <laughs> We'll head ashore right here. Let folks know that we're veritable badasses. And so the story of the fancy lad spreads. Anyways, folks, thanks for watching. This is Automatic for Automatic Games. If you like this, like this, and if you are subscribed, I hope to talk to you soon, friends.